There was a transfer resolution from Finance Committee for, for TIF number 10. Unless it's stuck with something else. While Pat's looking for that, I just want to remind everyone that Rebuilding Together, it formerly was Christmas in April, now it's Rebuilding Together. They will, they will be doing several houses again in Sheboygan on April 26th, that's a Saturday. Uh, they help low and moderate income families, homeowners, stay in their homes, upgrade their homes. So if in Alderman Perez, you know a little bit about this too. Uh, Bob Gunther from the Carpenters Union is involved in this and, and several other organizations. Uh, it's a good project. If anyone's willing to help out that day, please let us know and we will get your names to them and they will give you the different areas where uh, you can help out on the homes. Uh, you can help out for one hour, eight hours, however long you want that day, but it is an excellent project. So looking forward to seeing some of you there. I'll, I will be there that day. Alderman Malman, while we're waiting, how did the uh, festival go yesterday? Mayor's International Committee. Yeah, the taste of Sheboygan over the, yesterday, actually. I was going to say over the weekend, but it was actually only yesterday. It was an absolute wonderful event. We had, I think, the largest crowd ever uh, that had attended the taste. And every vendor that was there was very well and the people were very well fed. Thank you, it was very good. Okay. We will call the 23rd regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Bauman? Here. Berg. Excused. Eberg? Here. Doyle? Here. Manny? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Ports? Here. Schultz? Here. Stephan? Here. Dee Van Akron? Here. T. Van Akron? Vanderwill, Wangaman, Warner, Here. Weniger, Here. 15 present. Corms present. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that the minutes of the previous meeting be approved as entered on the record. Move it in a second that the minutes of the previous council meeting stand approved under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Alderman Manny, would you please lead us in a pledge? <coughs> Public forum, Pat? No. Okay. Alderman Van Akron. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I would move on the consent agenda that all ROs be accepted and filed, all committee reports be accepted and adopted, all resolutions and substitute general ordinances be put upon their passage. Second. Moved and seconded that all ROs be accepted and filed, our C's be accepted and adopted, resolutions and substitute ordinances be put upon this passage. That's from 23-1 through 23-22 under discussion. 
Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Ferg? Aye. Doyle? Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Quartz? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephan? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangerman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 23, 23 through 27 to be referred. 23, 28 through 35 to be referred. 23, 36 through 40 to be referred. 23, 41, we'll go to special, we'll go to public works. 2342, by public protection and safety recommending denying beverage operator's license 5888 for failure to appear before the committee. Alderman Doyle. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that we accept and adopt the report of committee. Uh, yes, is uh, Mr. McLaughlin here? Is not, apparently. Okay, we have a motion before us to accept and adopt the report of committee. Under discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephan? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 2343 will lie over. 2239 by Alderman D. Van Akron. Wangaman, Perez, Warner, and Winning are authorizing entering to agreement for the Employee Assistant Program. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, Your Honor I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Okay. Moved and seconded resolution be put upon its passage under discussion. <coughs> Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephan? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner, Aye. Weiniger, Aye. Bauman, Aye. Berg, Aye. Doyle, Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 2240, resolution by Alderman T. Van Akron, Warner, Berg, authorizing the purchase of two transit system buses. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, is there any objection to taking 2241, 42, and 43 along all at one time? I don't see any unless there's objection to Steve. I guess I'm kind of asking ahead. the council, then I'll separate them. All right, on 2241, it's a resolution to purchase uh, transit short-term disability insurance. 2242 is a resolution by the Finance Committee to authorize transfer of uh, appropriations in the 2003 budget. And 2243, by the Finance Committee, a resolution to authorize transfer of funds to provide monies to establish estimated revenue and appropriations and donations received for Parks Department for trees. I would move that all three resolutions be, uh, four resolutions be put upon in their passage. Second. Moved and second that all four resolutions be put upon their passage. Under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll please? Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. Stephan? Aye. D. Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Wangaman, Aye. Warner, Aye. Weninger, Aye. Bauman, Aye. Berg, Aye. Doyle, Aye. Manny, Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 2247, RC by Public Protection and Safety recommending filing documents submitting a communication from Sheboygan Paper Box Company requesting no parking at any time signs and areas between the west entrance to Rock Lines parking lot and walkway at the northwest corner of their new addition and passing attached ordinance. Alderman Warner. Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion to accept and file the report of committee and pass the attached ordinance. Move to second, accept and adopt committee report and passed ordinance under discussion. <clears throat> under discussion, Your Honor, this is in response to a communication from Sheboygan Paper Box Company requesting no parking anytime in the area between the west entrance to Rock Lines parking lot on South 11th Street and the walkway at the northwest corner of their new addition. Sheboygan Paper Box has loading docks on the east end of the warehouse on South 11th Street, and when employees from Rockline Park on the street across from the loading docks, the semi-trucks cannot access the docking area. Rockline's employee, Rock employee parking lot is now complete, and it has ample space for all of their cars. It is the Public Protection and Safety Committee recommendation to make this change. Thank you. 
Is there any other discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Perez? Ports? Schultz? Aye. Stephan? Aye. Akron? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 2224 by finance, recommending filing documents relative to transferring funds from the Industrial Park Fund to be used for police facility project and passing the attached resolution. Alderman Van Acker. Your Honor, I would move that the committee report be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Moved and second, the committee report be accepted and adopted and the resolution <coughs> be put upon its passage. Under discussion. Hearing none, would you call the roll, please? Ports? Aye. Schultz? No. Stephan? Aye. Dieven Akron? Aye. Tevin Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. 14 ayes, 1 no. Motion carried. I'd like to take just a moment to thank the Building Use Committee for their hard work and the Finance Committee for their work in getting this fund, these funds put in place. And I'd also like to thank our Police Department for their patience with this. <coughs> We're getting there one step at a time. 2254 by Alderman Berg. Oh, excuse me. Okay. 2254 by Alderman Berg, creating section in the code relating to numbers of elected officials at every election so as to allow the city clerk to determine number of election inspectors to adequately staff each election. Alderman Berg. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I move that the uh, general ordinance be put upon its passage. Moved and seconded that ordinance be put upon its passage. Under discussion? Uh, under discussion, uh, this is uh, changes the ordinance to allow uh, the clerk permission to determine the needs of each election site dependent upon uh, the contests. A uh, couple of things will come out of that. That will mean basically it will be her decision rather than having to come to council every time. And coincidentally, the city will save about $35 in publication fees in as much as an ordinance change requires that we publish it in the paper. So uh, I think it's a win-win situation. And I encourage you to vote the passage. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, just a couple of quick questions. And Pat, I suppose you can answer. Uh, how many people are normally required under the statute now? Seven. Seven. In the and, city hour size. And in, in the last election, I think we went down to four or something. Three. Three. You have to have an uneven number. So three, five, or seven. Okay. And, and the other question, the only other question I would have is, is I would hope, and I'm, I'm sure, that you would contact or let us know prior to every election how many you're going to do. And, there and would no, be no problem just me submitting an, an RO. Right. With that fact. Normally we would go down to five. This last election was very extreme. I've never gone down to three before. And it turned out, if we could have gotten away with one, we would. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> with the number of turnout. But um, it's normally five. Yeah. As I said, all I would ask is that right. prior to you doing that, you notify the council there's, so that if somebody no here does have an <clears throat> objection to that, that they would be able to talk to you prior mm -hmm. to you making your decision. That's right. Alderman Moody. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. I think this is something that's long overdue. We've had documents before where we've had to change the number of election officials, and who knows better than our city clerk how many we need at an election. If we have a primary where a handful of people turn up, why have a have more people working the polls than people coming to vote? So I think it's long overdue. Thank you. Thank you. Pat, would you call the roll, please? Schultz. Aye. Stephan. D. Van Akron, T. Van Akron, Vanderweel, Wangaman, <coughs> Warner, Aye. Winninger, Aye. Bauman, Aye. Berg, Aye. Doyle, Aye. Manny, Aye. Moody, Aye. Perez, Aye. Ports, Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 2253, General Ordinance by Alderman Warner, Doyle, Vanderweel, Winninger, and Manny, creating Article 7 to Chapter 14 of the Code relating to licensing of amusement devices within the city. Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion the general ordinance be put upon its passage. Move to second ordinance be put upon its passage under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, this ordinance establish, establishes a fee system for amusement devices that is more in line with other communities around the state. Uh, there are businesses in the city that do have various types of video machines and others, other types of machines that will come under this ordinance. A cap has been established at $125 to address arcades and others that have more than five machines. And any business with less than five machines will pay $25 per machine 
up to that $125 maximum, which is a cap. After a lot of discussion in the committee and the potential for added revenue to the city, we felt this would be a reasonable ordinance. Thank you. Oh, okay, Steve. Go ahead. Uh, all on the water, I apologize for not bringing this up to you in advance, but I guess I would suggest one uh, amendment here on the uh, in section two at the end, as far as the effective date. Uh, I would suggest adding in after passage and publication the following language and commencing with the license year beginning July 1, 2003 to make it clear that it's not going into effect now for partial license year. That'll be just my comment. It'll be better for our office also. No, we have to pass. We have to pass the amendment first. I, I make the motion. We we'll make a motion to pass the amendment. Moved and second to pass the amendment under discussion. Getting none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carried. Proceed, sir. On that, I would uh, make a motion to pass the general ordinance as amended. Okay, it's been moved and second to pass the general ordinance as amended. Under discussion. Alderman Van Akron. Your Honor, I guess a quick question for either Mike or Steve. Um, this. Is this a new section of the ordinance? We haven't had any any fee, so we're not just raising the fee. This is creating a new fee. So a new license, right? And this is no way restricting any games or you know, with all the talk of video poker and things that are going on down in Madison in these last couple of days, this isn't restricting any anybody from having any type of gaming. All we're doing is licensing it, right? Thank you. Okay, if there's another discussion, would you call the roll, please? Stephen? Aye. Dee Van Akron? Aye. T. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wongeman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Winninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Doyle? Aye. Manny? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Ports? Aye. Schultz? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. 2344, an RO by city clerk submitting a January 203 circuit court report of fines, municipality fines, and city officer fines. Fees. That can, fees, excuse me. That can be accepted. Exactly, fees. That can be accepted and placed on file. Hold on a minute. Moved and seconded. Under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 2345 will go to Public Works. 2346 to Special Committee on Risk Management. Steve? Twenty-three forty-seven is an RO by the city clerk submitting an application from the Great Lakes companies for a change in zoning classification of described property located in the South Pier District from Class UI Urban Industrial PPUD Pre-Planned Unit Development to Class South Pier PUD 2003-1 classification. That will go to Planning Commission. Twenty-three forty-eight is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Richard Meyer of the Harbor Center Business Improvement District requesting that the city release all funds collected on their behalf and allocated to them for fiscal 2003. Finance. Twenty-three forty-nine is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Richard Meyer requesting use of various areas of the riverfront boardwalk for the annual Saturdays on the boardwalk. Redevelopment authority. 2550 is an RO by the city clerk submitting communication from Richard Meyer of the Harbor Center Business Improvement District along with the audit of their books as conducted by Schenck and Associates. Finance. 2351 is an RO by the purchasing agent submitting a summary of the evaluation of proposals received for providing new planometric maps and digital ortho photos for the city engineering department. Public Works. 2352 is an RO by the Risk Administrative Officer submitting a communication from Midwest Promotions and Events LLC requesting permission to hold a volleyball tournament during the July 4th celebrations at the Land Park. Public Works. 2353 is a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into contract for obtaining new planometric maps and digital ortho photos for the City Engineering Department. Public Works. 
2354 is a resolution directing a public hearing to be held in connection with change of the city's official zoning map for described property located in the South Pier District. Alderman Van Eckert. Your Honor, I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Mm -hmm. Moved and second a resolution be put upon this passage. Under discussion. Your Honor, I, sure. uh, maybe Paulette, could you address the, come to the microphone, the, uh, the date for the public hearing? Is that? What we did was we looked at the dates that we could legally set the public hearing for, and instead of holding it, I think, I don't know if it's listed as April 7th, what we're asking is that the public hearing be held on March 31st. Can I? Can't. It's got to be 30 days, and our council meeting is April 2nd, not April 7th. So it is earlier, but state law says 30 days from date of introduction, and we're introducing it tonight, which is the 3rd, and this is April 2nd. All right, the council meeting will be on the 2nd because uh, that's the election? The day after the election. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that'll All work right. out then. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. In fact, this resolution says April 1st, but I forgot that's the election day, so it's April 2nd. And I have the original corrected. <clears throat> okay, if there's another discussion, I'll yeah, that'll work. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. 2355 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of funds to provide monies to establish estimated revenue and appropriation for TIF District 10 Water Street Renewal Project. Lies over. 2356 is an ordinance amending the official zoning map of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance to change the use district classification of described property in the South Pier District from Urban Industrial PPUD to Class South Pier PUD 2003-1 classification. Plan Commission. 2357 is an ordinance amending Section 26 of the Municipal Code so as to make varied, various revisions relating to buildings and building regulations. Lies over. Moved and seconded, adjourned. Under discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Opposed?